So if you have bubbles in your hand, I will pick you out if I see you not blowing their presentation. <laughs> or if I see you shooting and not blowing, I'm going to point you out as well during the presentation. <laughs> so something you guys might have noticed when you were looking at the posters for this presentation was in really small writing it had said, will there be a bathtub? Maybe, possibly. So something that will make a little bit more sense at the end of my presentation was I was actually really interested in getting a bubble bath and having a bubble bath on stage for this presentation. <laughs> but you'd be surprised how hard it is to find a bathtub in Winnipeg, Manitoba. So with that unfortunate event, because I didn't find a bathtub, that actually influenced the angle and the topic for this presentation that will make a lot more sense later on. So essentially what had happened was I really wanted to have a bathtub. I was a little bit sad and I was a little bit emotionally upset. So what would any other girl do? I turned to Google Images to look at really cute animals in bathtubs. But that didn't quite do it for me. I needed something more. I needed something to satisfy my sadness a little bit more. But before we get into that, we're just going to sort of talk about bubbles and bubble baths a little bit. So bubble what? Bubble baths. A plus So before we start talking about bubble baths, we have to talk about what is a bubble bath. Everyone has their own idea, but we're just going to kind of break it down very simply. You have some soap, you have some rushing water, usually a dirty person. That can kind of vary in what context, it's up to you. There's also a tub or some sort of container, something that's going to hold all of these contents. And once you put all of them together, you have a bubble bath. Exhibit A. <laughs> so today, we're going to change the stigma of bubble baths. Some of you may agree, some of you may disagree. You may wonder, what is the stigma of bubble baths? And we're going to do this by answering an age-old, unanswered question. Okay? Do men take bubble baths? <laughs> do guys take bubble baths? Do big, burly men submerge themselves in warm water with bubbles at the end of the day? Do they? I don't know. Where are these men? Are they amongst us? Are they here in society? Or are they out in the world in a more grand concept that we can't imagine? Well, first, let's look at some examples. So here. <laughs> Good old Alan, up in the top left corner enjoying the bath. Good old Jake Jennifer. Harry Styles, kind of not really sure what's going on in this bottom left picture, but he seems to be enjoying himself. We've got Justin Bieber, what a big surprise. We've got Chandler from Friends. He had a very long, hard day, so don't judge him. We've got this guy from the Grand Budapest Hotel. And unfortunately, to hurt your eyes, we've got Sugar Bear down here from Here Comes Honey Boo Boo. Trust me, you didn't want to see the African version of this picture. This is keeping it pretty PG. <laughs> but what about the average Joe? So these are guys that are up in the media, they're famous, we know who they are, and we know about them. But what about the guys that are here right now? What about the guys we go to school with, the guys we live with, and the guys that we work with? What about them? Forget about them, we can't leave them out. The men in these bathtubs have been discovered. And they are the embracer. <laughs> this is the guy, he has no time to waste. He's a bubble bath advocate. We get you to join in the enjoyment of bubble baths. Just chills and gets clean. That's all he's there to do. And he doesn't care about the stigma about bubble baths. But he's not alone. There's more. We have the shop. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is very sensitive. No shenanigans. He gets in, and he gets out. But he constantly fears judgment. And he will judge others just so he can fit in. This is the shy guy. Is he you? I don't know. But just like him and the embracer, 
This guy dilly dallies. He plugs the drain. He increases the water. And he spills water everywhere. You do not want this guy as your roommate. Trust me. But he's not alone. After the goofball, we've got the tough. So I'm looking right now for the embracer. Is anybody 
nominate someone to be the eraser. I nominated him. Stand up. <laughs> What's your name? Hugh. Hugh? Yeah. Hugh, you are the eraser. Do you have no time to waste? Could you feel like you're a bubble bath advocate? Do you just like to chill and get clean? And do you not worry about the bubble bath stigma? Are you the eraser? Absolutely. Awesome. <laughs>
guy for one thing, but the multitasker. I feel like he's amongst all of us, and we have a little bit of the multitasker in all of us. This guy checks social media. He does homework, probably among other things too, in the bathtub. Maybe laundry, I don't know, we could maybe push that boundary a little bit, I'm sure. He makes important phone calls, but he forgets to bathe. So this guy gets in the bathtub, but does everything other than actually the bathing, cleaning process. Is, is this guy a smelly guy? I don't know. Does he wear too much cologne? I don't know. Where is this guy? Is he here? Matt Rashford. I don't actually wear any clothes. <laughs> Matt Rashford. The multitasking. Stand up. Okay. <laughs> so do you make important phone calls in the bathtub? Do you post photos to Instagram? But do you forget, do you forget to bathe? Do you do laundry in the bathtub? Are you doing studio in the bathtub? Are you saying like laundry, like do I launder from my like, bathtub? Or do I like have a laundry? I was talking full and on the side, but you just introduced <laughs> You just introduced a whole new dimension of possibilities. So you're the multitasker. Thank you. So second from last, we have classy. This guy drinks wine. He has scented candles, listens to Beethoven, Carla. Has, and has a silk <laughs> Images. I'm in bathtubs. <laughs> a lot more. 